Mark, you're worthy in podcast all day. All day. Dream by night. <laughs> Don't buy me a drink. Just give me 10 bucks. Yeah, all day. <laughs> Go down to the strip club with your floppy disk and turn it into a hard drive. Yeah, right. You'll get fucking thrown out by Big Tony. <laughs> we're here to name names and make people feel more ashamed for shit that they're not proud of. Don't blow it. Keep it simple. Count your money. Oh, whatever it is. <laughs> What are you f- expecting, fucking professionals? <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is, um, we're in the high 50s, man. Like, I've been doing this, I do this twice a month. Yeah. Been doing it for a few years now. Fuck yeah. Um, and yeah, so introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name's Cameron Rivens. Uh, I'm a Canberra local now for the last, I don't know, five years. Moved here like 2017, I yep. guess. Before that, I lived in a little country Victorian town called Heathcote. Yep. Just out of Bendigo there. And, uh, yeah, I'm a wannabe comedian at the moment, trying to make it to the big shot. Yeah, man. Well, that's why um, that's why we're all here, man. Yeah, pretty much trying to trying to make it. Um, I do, I do have a few people that aren't comedians on the show. Uh, yourself is not one of them. Just yeah. letting you know no, which category you, you fit into. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> considering that you just did a like ticketed comedy gig that I ran, it yeah. would be bad if I didn't think you're a comedian it'd at be, this point. It'd, it'd be hard yakka for me to swallow. That's yeah. for sure. It'd be a tough <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> you're here for your intellect, buddy, not your uh, comedic skills after the other night. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that gig to work out whether you like which category you yeah. fit into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've got this thing um where you might have noticed sometimes at the open mics, I will be like the next comedian and I'll make a thing about that instead of saying the first comedian because yeah. for some reason in my mind, I'm like, you can't say first comedian because you're a comedian. And yeah. I've got this fucking stupid thing that I do on stage where I'm like, I need to like write that wrong until it becomes habit. Yeah, yeah. So like I'll make a thing out of it for the first couple of times. Yeah, But yeah. the audience has to suffer from my fucking mental illness. <laughs> Which they deserve to, but... But isn't that about, what comedy is? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's basically an open therapy session. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. That everybody's just... A, for poor people. Yeah, for yeah. poor people. <laughs> Especially the non-ticketing gigs. It's like a crowdfunded therapy yeah, session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone just comes and they all leave sadder, but we leave happier. Yeah, I think yeah, that's how it should like, be too. And they leave poorer yeah, yeah. and the promoter leaves richer yeah, but yeah. the comedians yeah. are still broke yeah um the thing is dude um i reckon that it's like a, a open mic is like a five dollar crowd funded fucking um therapy session like if we all pitch in like <laughs> yeah and, yeah we can really help these guys out yeah i yeah. seen that guy in the back alley sucking dick for 10 <laughs> bucks before he needs help i need to listen to that guy <laughs> and that's why i have no money for the gig but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i had 10 yeah i had a 10 i've already paid that dude so can i come in <laughs> yeah no yeah. i paid my ticket at entry <laughs> that guy said i need to give him a tenner yeah i me- don't want to get tricked again meanwhile the comedian's wiping his mouth saying he already did come in <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I got 10 bucks out of it tonight. It wasn't quite an open mic. Dude, that's... No, you could tell the one that actually did it because he wouldn't be there. He's like, I've already been paid yeah. for the night. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to... <laughs> he gets on stage. He's like, I'm the only paid comedian here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm top billing, that must mean. I did the least amount for the headlining spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I literally sucked my way to the top. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll I know what that's all open about. Mic. Yeah, yeah. One thing is, though, like a lot of open mics around town do charge a $5 entry fee, yeah, but I up. like to... Keep I think they all do at this point. Yeah. Um, but I like, there was, a, uh, I think, another open mic that was free, which was the boardwalk. But I think what they're doing now is more themed comedy nights. So yeah, it is yeah, actually a ticket. They do hecklers, don't they? Hecklers yeah, they did. Comedians? Well, there's a few different themes. So there's um, Joke Bucket. I've done one of those before. Um, literally two premises in a joke. You pull it out at the start of the night and you've got between the start of the night and your set to write a bit for yep. both of those jokes. Sick. Yeah, it's good. Uh, anyone like you like myself when it comes to like on the spot shit. Like, um, I think Boardwalk is encouraging things that are like sort of comedy building skills, like yeah. on the spot shit. It's almost improv. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's um, so it's joke bucket comedians versus hecklers um, and um, roast battles, um, and I think they've got uh, oh and. Um, uh, erotic fan fiction which oh, is yeah. a lot more structured like i'm still waiting so we there was an erotic fan fiction before the covid lockdown yeah is it at sideways was it that one? Oh, so they do it at sideways but there's a guy that runs them yep so kind of like i think if you want to do one you need to have him involved like it's kind of his brand yeah, yeah. 
Um, so he came down to do that one um, and we're just like, we should do one like again because I think it was like one of the first themed nights. Mm. So it was like, we'll come back to this. Um, so that's on the cards as well. But I have this dynamite fucking, like this red hot erotic fan fiction <laughs> where I fucking um, wrote one where it's like, Bear Grylls returning from um, a fucking Man vs. Wild trip to his wife. Yeah, yeah. Like, for the first time. Ravenous. Yeah, just yeah. ravenous fucking... <laughs> yeah, like some Fifty Shades of Bear Grylls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think that's actually what I titled it. Yeah. yeah. Well, she could definitely piss in his mouth and he would enjoy it. That's like, the, one of their that. punchlines. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like we one of those... fact. But it's... I, I do like a little bit of stand-up before I do it. Yeah. Like, to set the preference... Uh, pre- preference, the premise and yeah. preference, I guess. Um... <laughs> But it's um, one 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 of those bits, and also like without giving it more away, um, aside from the obvious. But yeah, it's a, also in the lines of like, there's nothing he can't physically do. There's no excuse for anything he wouldn't do with her. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> too. Yeah, there's can, no bounds. There's no he, like, he, he can't be to. like I don't like yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a fucking like. Like a like a gun to the head, kind of like <laughs> you can't back out of this. I've seen the shit yeah, you do on TV. You've got a whole TV series. About yeah, it. the least likely man to ever kink shame somebody <laughs> yeah. is Bear Grylls. Yeah. Can you be like, nah, mate? I've seen twelve series of you just out there skinning snakes alive and eating their guts. Yeah, or just you. filling their fucking skins with piss yeah. and carrying it <laughs> yeah. around. Yeah, your little piss snakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not going to let you tell me that getting spat into my mouth is a bad thing. That's, That's for fucking sure. Similar to that, in yeah. Bear like, Grylls, you coward. Yeah, I think like um some of this stuff dude like i remember so <laughs> this is probably the one one of the a- most accurate representations of like um someone's opinion of bear grills right so when i when that show was fucking hot mm. ne- hot and steamy nearly as hot as the fan fiction yeah, yeah um <laughs> he um well i was doing like a um i thought i was going to be a tradie once upon a time so I did some like work experience with some tradies <laughs> and it was like sitting around sit at like fucking lunch talk, like Tucker Box talk, right? Yep. Fuck. Uh, this is rebranding. This is going to be called Tucker Box talk. <laughs> <laughs> and like, uh, that's the thing. I've never had like a good name for my podcast. So I've always just called it my name because it was like the only thing I could think of. That, is your name yeah because i'm just a dumb <laughs> fuck dude no, like my parents named it yeah yeah, like, yeah pretty much no but i um i just couldn't think of anything that might not be relevant that hasn't already been taken like yeah. in five years time if i call it like you know raw comedy 2018 finalist podcast yeah like it's not gonna age well you called it the ukraine never being invaded by russia <laughs> yeah, in five years time it doesn't really work no that would be a visionary <laughs> yeah like nostradamus it, over here. yeah yeah the Not- nostradamus podcast yeah, <laughs> yeah. um if, uh, different from the nosferatu podcast uh, just I slightly only film on full moons and shit <laughs> sleep in a coffin <laughs> yeah shit. dude i've been in like the like the goth metal scene for like the, as long as i can remember yeah. that i've been and in. it looks like it yeah it, it yeah. fucking shows yeah it's i don't aged think anybody's well. coming in like i bet you he's a brony yeah I bet you he's a brony for sure. i'm sure there's people that have yeah. thought that well, yeah, probably um, um I tell you what's funny, man. My mate, when I was in CIT, like came out to me as a brony. Like it was a big thing for him. <laughs> I love that he's got to come out. <laughs> yeah, like, he, he was I've got something big to tell. But you. The, this is a thing, dude. Like, so we were walking through um, Civic Food Court downstairs when Macca's used to be like to the left of the fucking escalator yeah. at Civic. Yeah, I know that place. And we used to go there because we're at CIT Reed. A couple of Canberra fucking people are just like yeah. like nodding while they're, they're just dry. so rock hard. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. You just mentioned. They're yeah. like, I go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone's someone's going to have to take a fucking toilet break from their desk job. <laughs> uh, so, um, and there was like someone that was like full, like dressed up like some brony shit, oh, like rainbow fucking everything. Yeah. yeah, dude. And um, love it. Five on it. And he was like. I was just like, dude, that that person's like a fully grown like that. There's obviously something wrong in that person's past mm. for them to think that, like that's um like full do whatever the fuck you want to do, right? But that doesn't stop me from believing that something traumatic has happened to yeah. you when you were at the age of thinking that that is where you're mentally stuck now for the rest of your life, forever. If you do something if something fucking happens to you when you're the age of fucking enjoying bronies 
in brony shit, fucking ponies and stuff. Yeah, what, like 10, 11, uh, Yeah, 12, as an there. adult, you're just like mentally stuck at that point. Yeah. It might not be not your whole fucking personality, but part of you is still trapped in it's that It's like the fucking... fight back, you know, his dad would have hit him or something. Yeah, him he's just, bronies. yeah, yeah, like he told him, yeah, yeah. He's just like, well, fuck you, I'm 36 yeah. and I'm still fucking doing it. Yeah. But only once his dad dies. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. That's when he yeah. ad- adons Mysteriously. the Mysteriously, yeah. yeah. Before that, he's still too scared. They found him with a fucking, like, a rainbow dash butt plug, <laughs> which I don't know what that is, but apparently that's a term. It seems like, like you knew what it was. I, okay, yeah, it was really. Me. <laughs> you now think, oh, I think you're just talking about your own story and, and you're pretending like you've seen someone like this yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway so this fucking guy had like a massive red beard no <laughs> so, uh, it's like had glitter in that um no but anyway and i was just like oh man like so- something must like have happened right because i can't just look at someone and go like oh they just enjoy that i need to mm. like somehow break them down yeah. And he was like, oh, it's not like that bad, man. It's oh, actually yeah. got some good- He's hard to be beaten so hard. Yeah, and he he's like, that. he thought that we were going to have like a broman- brony yeah. bromance. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, but dude. And he's just like, yeah, but like, you know, it's there's kind of jokes in there for adults as well. Like the writers, <laughs> the writers put yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, yeah. okay. And it's just like, yeah, it's like, you know, and if you really dig deep, like you know, I have seen all the episodes like a few times. And if you really look into it, it's actually kind of aimed at adults. Oh, yeah. And I was he knows like, the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the law. <laughs> yeah. Like, the law. He, there was no no manga, so he wrote it. <laughs> yeah. He drew, like, pictures and yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, he um, he eventually just, like... And I was just like, dude, that, that's cool. But, like, also, what happened to you? Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Like, circling back to my first point, yeah, what yeah, happened yeah. to you? <laughs> yeah. But uh, he didn't explain to me what happened. I think he just kind of was still, tell- like, just... Hoping that I'd be like, nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. I love it, dude. How good is season four, episode yeah, yeah, six, when yeah. fucking this happens? You know, Capith and Horse, mm. whatever the fuck their names are. Like, mm. that's my favorite. I've been, <laughs> that's hung up all in my bedroom. That's See, sure. I, I only know um, the Rainbow one because, like, that's the most. You know how every brand always has their, like, marketable yeah. character? Yeah. Um, like Ninja Turtles, everyone knows Michelangelo. Yeah, like yeah. The, like if you're into them, you know them all, obviously. But yeah. outside people are like, oh, I know the orange one like if, is Michelangelo. Yeah, like if you went up to people on the street like they used to do on TV shows, you know how they just bring, we've asked six random yeah. people and they just show you on the street talking to some random fucking person. <laughs> um, it's like our toothpaste. Get their dentist to recommend them. Yeah, they can't show their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that this yeah, is nine out, nine out of ten of them every fucking time. It's what do, what real do you suspicious? What do you think? Just fucking thumbs up. Yeah, can't yeah. even talk, dude. And if you did talk, it'd be like, oh, yeah, I was yeah. They put the deep dude. voice synthesizer on them. <laughs> I recommend this toothpaste. Like they can't just. It, you're a dentist. Yeah, Why can't you just say I recommend toothpaste? Dude, it's not a synthesizer. It's just fucking like HRT. <laughs> <laughs> like no, they're just like, oh, that's good. They mask their fucking yeah, yeah. voice. It's like, nah, dude, nah. that's some it's, fucking. It's bang. That's some fucking three day old balloon dick stuff. <laughs> yeah. They're all just dropping nangs. Three day old balloon dick. <laughs> Fuck, that's savage. Nang bombing. I'm glad that I waited until fucking 15 minutes into the podcast before I said that. So I know that like anyone that's like in it this far, like gets a little bit of gold there. Yeah. Well, I mean, we just cancelled out the whole brony community that mm. listens to this, so I'm a little bit sad about that. They are going to fucking be so mad at that, yeah. or they are going to enjoy it because they like being humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> See, now you're just putting a whole nother category on these poor <laughs> bastards. Yeah, yeah. They're like, we're just trying to have fun, and you're like, you cunts love to be humiliated, <laughs> yeah. I fucking know it. I'm still trying to, like, psychanalyze them. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm so- also trying to make myself feel like the good guy, like I'm doing something for them, although I'm actually just an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. That, like, you, you have no psychology background in the least and you're like let me just analyze exactly what's happened in your life did daddy hit you yeah. come on show me on this doll yeah, where you yeah, were touched yeah, yeah. <laughs> meanwhile it was just me masking my own fucking yeah. insecurities <laughs> yeah he touched you where yeah me too <laughs> your dad's a motherfucker <laughs> if there's any room left on this doll that i haven't already stuck a fucking voodoo pin in yeah. just tell me where you yeah. like put, put a different colored pin in for where you were touched all the kmart dolls are sold out yeah. you're just buying them constantly yeah. fill them up with fucking like a pin cushion yeah yeah <laughs> exactly dude that's um but anyway back to what i was saying the um I've, so i've been in the in the goth metal community for a while. <laughs> That's almost a callback. Yeah. We've been not talking about that for so, so long, long. But I feel like I've just got these unfinished fucking conversations. Yeah, yeah, it's an open There's tab. like a few there that I need to close <laughs> off. 
Um, but yeah, it's like a um, like I call you in a week and like, sorry, man, I just need closure yeah, on yeah. this. I need to tell you what happened. <laughs> so I was the bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I call you in a week. And I'm like, yeah, man, this actually is for adult tape. Yeah. Like, I just- <laughs> no, you should really listen to some of the jokes. They're pretty mature. Yeah, they really yeah. are. Like, yeah, they totally de- de- defy fin- physics and shit. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but anyway. Um. And, dude, some of those people, back, I don't know about now, but, like, I, I don't know how long you can do this for, but I remember when I was in that, like, in, like, the goth metal scene, like, as a 19-year-old kid, there was people my age that were so into that. They would have, like, coffin beds and, like, oh, fuck fucking yeah. all this, like, shit. Yeah. Like, like full, like, suspension harnessing for, like, like within their houses all set up and mm. shit. Like, they thought that they were, like, the opening scene from Blade in the oh, fucking, yeah. like... <laughs> like, you just think that they're, like... Dude, there was this fucking one dude that was just, like, man, I only drink a certain type of red wine because it's the closest colour to blood and oh, all this yeah. shit. Like, it's just... And, dude, I tell you what was funny. I went to a few, like, they used to run, um, like, this goth nightclub thing here in Canberra. It was, like, not a not a specific club, but they'd just hire a venue once a month yep. and run this fucking goth night. Thing. And um, it's changed its name multiple times, but back in the day, anyone that For remembers... For legal reasons. Yeah, <laughs> um, probably bankruptcy, if <laughs> yeah. I'm honest. But um, um, if anyone that remembers, it used to be called, like, Toast, but it was became Chrome and, like, all this other... Like, this had multiple other names since. Dude, I went when it was Chrome, and there would be, like, you would just see, like, Edgar Allan Poe just walk in and just sit down and just be swirling his wine and sipping it. And midway through the night, because I've always looked like a metalhead hanging out with goth kids. Like, I didn't really goth up. I would just go out. And in the middle of the night, you would just see some, like, fucking random goth chick just come and sit next to him. And then they'd be drinking wine together, and then they would leave together. And that's just how they, like, picked up. Oh, that was it. That would just what, be- No words. No, it just it, sit like, down. Well, minimal words. Yeah. Like, she might just come that's over- That's so goth just, for them. I'm like, what they- That's like, that's like a fucking- Like, birds have, like, calls for mating and yeah. shit, but, like, they just- the swirling of the wine. The, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's their fucking <laughs> yeah. like fucking mating yeah. route. <laughs> like it's like clockwise for for fucking taken and yeah, anti clockwise yeah. <laughs> for fucking single. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but, I'm fucking. I'm thinking about going goth now. That's yeah, just, if that's how easy it is. <laughs> how funny would it be, dude? Is some dude that looked like you or I just tr- sat down and swelling yeah. the wine just to try and see, just to see if it works, and nothing fucking. Happened. What if it starts just happening in regular restaurants though? <laughs> yeah. like, goth girls just start crowding around your tra- table. Like, what the so, fuck's going on? Some fucking wine connoisseur is just yeah. like, why is all these goth yeah. chicks trying to fuck me? <laughs> Dude. Why is there a big lineup at the door? Like this is really strange. It was just a normal nightclub, but they turned it back into a not golf nightclub because <laughs> yeah. they just like were attracted yeah. there. The swirling of the wine is like a dog whistle. <laughs> Only the goths can hear yeah. it. <laughs> the fucking goths were just sleeping in their coffins yeah. and stood up in the middle of the night. Like some of them are still wearing their fucking like black silk pajamas and shit. I hope they've got black silk capes, you know, just like Dracula as they sleep in their coffins. Yeah, That'd yeah. That'd be so fucking sick. You're fucking dude. I'd love that. <laughs> like, Avril Lavigne still kind of hears it a little bit, but like she can't <laughs> like turn it off. Well, she's dead. She got replaced a long time ago. We all know it. Yeah, and who's that? Melissa Hart. You ever heard that story? No. Uh, I know that's a wild conspiracy theory that's been out go, for go a for long it. time. Avril Lavigne, like after she done uh, Skater Boy and you know she had her sort of hit couple of albums, apparently she died in a car accident. Yeah. But she was still making so much money for the record company that they went out and got a girl who looked exactly like her, whose name, I'm sure it's Melissa Hart, and just dressed her like Avril and said, well, from now on, you're fucking Avril Lavigne <laughs> and we'll give you a good pay packet and we'll keep a good pay packet. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so that's, that conspiracy has been a- out for like- Oh, 15 years, I reckon. Yeah, dude, because I feel like I've... Because like, she did rapidly change how she looked. True, She yeah. really did change. Because I feel like I've explicitly dated fucking Avril Lavigne lookalikes for the past <laughs> fucking 10 Listen, years. Listen, I'm dude. always on the lookout for a big-titted goth girl. Yeah, always. Yeah. I search out for them, and now I'll take my glass of wine into the streets with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate. You're like the Bide Piper for fucking <laughs> yeah. goth <goddamn. laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just strolling through just back look, alleyways, just, just looking. Yeah, and that was the, that was the day that Cameron and took all the golf girls out of, <laughs> out out of Canberra, fucking yeah. Canberra. I just, killed the golf scene single-handedly. Dumped them in Queanbeyan. <laughs> <laughs> they belong 
man. <laughs> and we all know that. We all know that. Most it. of them live there, dude. Like, a lot of golf girls I've met in the past have been bogans at heart. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> they just are, like, uh, unguided bogans. They yeah. don't really know like, where to no go. No one's watching. Life. They get yeah, the yeah. red wine out of a goon bag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they just see the red wine dripping out of a goon of fortune. And then they're like goth that's what i should do <laughs> that's how they see if someone's goth or not they make a goon of fortune where one's red and the rest are white yeah. and they spin it and if it stops on red then yeah. it attracts you one of us yeah one yeah. of us yeah um wait there was a fucking point that i made before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was we almost got there that time that was close oh man so um no, that that was the point. Like the point was, so pe- so many people take it so fucking far. Yeah. That like, yeah, it gets to that point. And dude, I've met Danny Filth. Like they're good people. Mm. Um, <laughs> I actually <laughs> have, dude. I I got a pretty funny story. Um, when I met Danny, I had a, I had a mate, um, who wanted something signed if I met him, and um, I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna like be able to. I don't know who he is. Uh, so Danny Filth's a singer from a band called Cradle of Filth. They're okay. like OG, like goth metal canberra, canberra no, no 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 so they're they're based in the part of england that other people in england don't talk about oh, okay cockney english people <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's so funny oh, yeah. so funny because he's on stage he's he's just like you know she's my ninfetamine girl oh, okay. and shit like that and yeah. then like so he's like going on about like he's all just like oh vampiric fucking master <laughs> and all this shit and then i met him and so i knew i was gonna go meet him right um, he played a gig at the basement and I was just like, I'm actually going to be able to like say good day to this yeah. bloke. Cause like little goth me was like, do I have to fucking meet this guy? Of course. He's a goth hero by the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I was like, Hey man, I'm, I'm probably going to meet him. Um, have you got anything that you want me to sign? Mm. And he's like, man, I haven't got anything, but I've got like a fucking, um, Charizard Pokemon card <laughs> in my wallet. Like my lucky as Pokemon goth as card. It fucking gets. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you get him to sign it? So I'm like, yeah, sure. So I go out the back. I'm just like, Hey, I was so nervous. I nearly called him Mr. Filth. Like, <laughs> 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 like trying to be respectful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah like when you go to your friend's, parents place for the first time like when you you call him daddy yeah <laughs> no well she calls me daddy now um, but yeah um i was just like hey man i'm a big fan of you of, of all your work man i've been listening to you uh, for years now i was just wondering could would you like to take a photo and sign this a charizard uh, card sign this pokemon card yeah. for me he's like and so picture amphetamine yeah, yeah yeah he's just like all right then no worries and i just <laughs> hand it to him i'm still like fucking like yeah what the fuck? what the fuck dude he gets it and he's just like hey what's his name what it's because like it's from my friend mm. he's like oh it's it's ben and he was just like okay and it's just like two and he writes b e a he goes to put like an a mm. and i was oh it's 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 ben and he's just like, oh, fuck. I thought you said his name was Bean. And I was like, that's a fucking weird name, isn't it? <laughs> this Cockney. Yeah, English he was guy? Cockney as shit, dude. Yeah. And, I was, and also, like, my accent would be fucking hard to understand for, like, someone that's, like, Just Cockney. Coming. Yeah. Um, and Bean. Yeah, Bean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, from then on, I just called my mate Bean because yeah. I was just like, you've been named by the by fucking the Prince of Darkness, yeah. dude. Yeah, like, like you take that. Yeah. Uh, did he love it? He, dude, he fucking loved it. Of course. I would assume he would love it, getting named by his idol, Bean. Yeah. yeah. You take that and fucking run with it all yeah. day. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was a good time. Um, Fuck, I feel like there was a point. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, another circle back. We'll get there in the end, slowly but surely. <laughs> um, so you were saying you're originally not from Canberra. You mentioned that- Yeah, you- yeah, from Victoria. Yeah. Originally, that's where my mum and dad lived. And uh, we travelled around Australia when I was younger. So we only sort of moved there when I was, I think I was about 10 or 11, I reckon. Yeah. We're from the showgrounds originally, Travelling Showman. We I was going to get get into that. Yeah. So, um, Travelling Showman, what sort of stuff do you do there? Uh, we own like rides and games and you, there's like a circuit, it's called a show circuit. So, you basically start in Melbourne and yep. then travel all the way up to Cairns and you stop along the way and it take, it's like a nine month circuit basically. Yep. So, you're only stopped for three months of the year. Right. Okay. Really. 
Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about like? Is there like beef? Like, do you like? I know that like oh, all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Vicious beef between, and it's very family orientated. Yeah. So basically, all um, the people who own all the rides, yeah. almost everyone is related. It's, yeah. It's really incestuous. Be, be, incestuous. Be, yeah, pretty much. Because there's only there's a limited amount of partners, basically. So you are related to somebody either through marriage or through blood, <laughs> e- everywhere you look. <laughs> and so people just because be- you're beefing in your own family, yeah, yeah. And then because you're related to them, well, now you've got to beef with this other family, and beef, yeah. and it's just fucking beef, beef left right. How center. funny is it when people have beef because you don't have beef with someone that they've got beef? Yeah, with? I love it. It's That's literally, my it's literally like, like. Can't you see I've got beef with this person? Why don't you also hate them for no yeah. reason? That's almost why I left the showgrounds. Yeah. Because like when we when we were younger and we were kids, everybody was just mates with everybody. Yeah. Like you'd have a punch up. That was all like you're just kids. Who really cares? Yeah. But then when I started to get a bit older. The and difference be- with carny beef is when you have a punch up, people are putting money on it. Yeah. That's what we try. <laughs> like that's the only just- way we earn our real money. <laughs> is that like a derogative term? <laughs> yeah, term? Carnies, Car- yeah, technically. Car- Carney's just American. Yeah. So that's what they call themselves, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, what's the Australian version? Showman, just traveling showman. Okay, there we go. And now they've started to go like uh, more pronouny. So now it's show people. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't advi- like it's like Latinx. Yeah. Uh, I just don't subscribe to it. Yeah, well, sometimes it's just like. Um, so, do you listen to Isaac Butterfield? I know him. I don't like religiously, but I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he has a pretty good point. Like, I love butts. Like, I, I, I love butts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who doesn't, really? But, yeah, I fucking... Um, I listen to, uh, like, him on and off. Like, when I've got time, I do a catch-up. Yep. Um, but he's got, like, a good um, point in one of his videos how he's, like, sometimes um, pronouns don't make sense like grammatically mm. and he that's the beef he has with it like he doesn't have any like beef with any of the fucking reasoning behind yeah using the- pronouns but he's like when you start saying things that don't make sense it's like confusing to like try and rewire your brain to fucking say stuff as like that we usually use terms that are collective nouns yeah. as an individual well that's the big thing with latinx as well the latino communities their their language is androgynous. It, it doesn't have a gender attached to yeah. it. And then white people came in and said, no, you've got Latins and Latinas. Yeah. But that's an entirely different conversation. Yeah. So now you need to have Latinx for the people who don't identify as other one, but they never needed that. Yeah. So when they did a, a case study- It's for us. <laughs> yeah, it's for us. And like the, they did this case study of, you know, 20,000 Latinos or yeah. whatever- and it's like 0.03% agree with Latinx. Yeah. So it's like they don't want it. We've just thrust it upon them. Yeah. And yeah. now think that we're so, not us, you know, we're not, we don't know, I don't know how many Latinos we got in America, yeah. in Australia, but in America, they think they're woke for using it. Yeah. And the Latinos are like, you don't fucking need to use it. Yeah. Like yeah. you've added something we never wanted. Well, uh, I'm working on a bit at the moment how I'm like, oh, it's up to like, English speaking languages to like have all these like um, pronouns. Yeah. Good luck rewriting German where even a cup has a fucking gender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like good luck trying to re fucking like do like Dutch. Yeah. And like which is like Afrikaans de- derives from. Mm. It's like good luck trying to fucking rewrite all of the languages. Like you started with the easy one. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And I don't know why we have like nominated ourselves that to we carry need the flag. to do that for <laughs> <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> like they're not asking for it, but we're like, no, no, but we'll do it for you anyway. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we don't fucking want it. It's nah, like, nah, too bad. Like the Latinas are just like, we don't fucking care, yeah. dude. It's like they've thought, how can we keep con- colonizing people <laughs> without taking their land? Let's take their language. <laughs> Let's, take Let's take their gender. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're just like, what the fuck, man? We thought we stopped all Let's this. Let's take their pronouns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you are saying in the uh, the carny scene, the reason that you left was, well, one of the reasons that you got away from it was because there was so much beef. Yeah, because when I started to grow up, there's, it's very territorial and everybody wants their slice of the pie sort of thing. So then mates started hating other mates who mm. were doing well and people started to like think they had some kind of power like over each other and- Everybody thought they were better than each other. Not right. everybody, but a few of my mates. Yeah. And then it got back to that point of like, my mates were like, well, I hate him. So you should hate him. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't hate, like, 
we've been mates since I was born. Yeah. Why would I just start hating him because you hate him? Yeah. And then I was kind of like, I can see where this road is leading to. Mm. So I'm just going to fucking peace out. Yeah, yeah. It's good when you have that foresight, for, even if it is gained from shitty other experiences, to know where it's heading. Yeah. Like, it's... um. It's like relationships, dude. Like, how many shitty relationships are you going to have before you realize, like, where it's heading most yeah. of the time? Like, like a lot of... Uh, that's why I've, I think that, like, you hit a certain point where, like... You, you know how there's, like, so... There's not many, like, fucking... Um, 28, 29-year-old virgins, but there's, like, a lot that a like 40 year old yeah, like yeah. they they were once 28 29 but i feel like 40 and that is like the fence yeah, yeah like because i think that you get to a point where you kind of you need your first few relationships even if, if you sometimes you meet the one first up fucking mm. lucky but i feel like a lot of people need to <sighs> need to get like the first couple to work out who they are yeah yeah like, for sure and I feel like if you don't do it eventually you just fucking balk at the idea of doing it yeah it's like so many people fucking get to the point where they're like I'm too far in to know what to do now yeah like yeah. It's because the people... That's what happens. Ah, oh, fucking worked it out. Psychoanalyze mm. fucking... <laughs> We've got there. We've Bronies got... come at me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I've never been more comfortable with a crowd of people to hate me. Mm. <laughs> like the bronies? <laughs> yeah, like I think that I've pissed off a few groups of people, but because I'm not famous enough... Mm. like they can't come at they, you. Yeah. They, like they haven't bothered. Yeah. But like, yeah, I think I think it's okay with like. I, I mean, I'm not about to fucking say that I don't want to. Like, I'm not about to say that I don't care about beef. But mm. like, if it's gonna be beef, it may as well be with like bronies and not like fucking bikies. Bikies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody said that to me the other day because I had I had this joke that I told them, and I'm like, oh, I might tell it on stage. Mm. And they're like, oh, you can't say that. You'll get cancelled. I was like, what with 36 fucking Twitter followers? Who the yeah. fuck's gonna cancel me? They, yeah. I cannot be cancelled. I'm not. Fucking Dave Chappelle. Cancel from what? <laughs> yeah, from what? They're going to take my 100 Instagram followers. Like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's so scared of this cancel culture, even when they're just like, a, not a know-nothing person, but you're not fa Like, you have yeah. nothing to lose. Dude, I I feel like... Jim, so, Jimmy Carr had a really good fucking tweet from his previous... Like, base... It was initiated by his previous special. So he put out a special recently um, that had a, had a bit in there that apparently people are trying to cancel him for. Mm. I don't fucking keep up with who's getting cancelled or yeah. what, but apparently that's a thing. And he said something along the lines of, um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to misquote it, but the premise is um, what I'm going to be cancelled for is already out there. Mm. It's just not deemed as inappropriate yet. Mm, yeah. Like, it exists. And in 10 years' time, it'll come back and fucking get me. Yeah, of course. But right now, it's not an issue. Which is a wild concept. Yeah. That people can go back 10 or 15 years ago yeah. when things, whatever you said, were acceptable. Oh, fuck. And then just retrospectively cancel you. Like, that's... I'm trying to get My Chemical Romance cancelled. Yeah. Because they had Welcome to the Black Parade yeah. instead of Welcome to the Multicultural Parade. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, wasn't it just called Welcome to Mardi Gras? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go back and cancel My Chemical Romance. Man, I um I was going through some old VHS the other day and I found like a, a TV recording onto VHS of the 97 Mardi Gras. Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking- Was it wild? Dude, it was-, was wild shit? Fucking lit. Yeah, it's so it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but by the way, I just had a moment of realization. If people are wondering what that fucking moment of realization I had when you were talking before. Um, hey, I had self-control and didn't talk over wow. the top of you like Crazy. I normally do. Um, <laughs> we all learn. <laughs> it's all a learning We all experience. do it as comedians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, welcome to the Mikey Worthing Comedy Podcast, where I have a, a comedian on, I talk over them for an yeah, hour, and then yeah. fucking like, go about my day. I talk for an hour, and then I let them give a plug at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if anyone wants to hear you talk, where yeah, can yeah. they do that? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, so I just want to say like to the people listening back to this podcast in the future, uh, first of all, wave my comedy career goodbye. Like the, <laughs> um in fucking 12 years time. We're dropping N-bombs in five. Four. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the... It's, it's, it's 
one of those things is like I I'll, I won't <laughs> do stuff that's like not inappropriate now, but it fucking like Jimmy Carr was saying, it, it probably be. will be. Like, imagine if like just because we're doing a podcast that's not acceptable. Like, yeah. it could get to the point where it's like, and like, I don't know what I'm doing that's wrong yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you just we're just doing what we think is okay for now, and well, it is okay now. Well, the thing is, right? Like, I don't tend to. Like, I feel like when people are like, oh, it was the 50s, it was a different time. Didn't you realize you were being a cunt, though? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I know. Apparently not. I know. So, are you saying the only thing stopping you from being a cunt is society says it's not okay anymore? Yeah, basically. Like, I don't do things to legitimately fucking fuck with people, right? Like, unless they've fucked with me first, right? I'm very, like, yeah. Spiteful. I'm very fucking grudgy. Mm. Um,. The Grudge, um, a very popular movie in the goth scene. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you can see me; I'm an extra in the background. <laughs> so, like I know about four chicks that said they they were the the Grudge chick, yeah. you know, because like they were, they all look like, <laughs> and they were all at Chrome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Swelling their yeah. wines. <laughs> it's like if you zoom in real close, you can see the wine. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I. I still feel like there's a there is a difference between like you knowingly did something that was bad like against somebody mm. um but because society like didn't pull you up on it you continue to do it yeah versus I didn't realize that that was a bad thing and I did it f- through no to no harm of anyone else or myself yeah and now it's considered a bad thing it's fucked yeah it's fucked. it's a different i think there is a difference like if like you can't just go out and just be like man i like and call people names and put them down like if you knowingly make someone feel bad then like even when i do crowd work dude I know if, if I've, like, upset that person. If mm. they're laughing but crying on the inside and I can't tell, then I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Um, like, and the amount of times, I mean, it might happen still. It probably will. But every time I've ever done crowd work with someone, they've always been cool with me. Like, at the mm. end, they've always... Like, if I do crowd work with someone, I go out of my way unless they, like, um, leave... Yeah. Before I get a chance, yeah, which yeah. hasn't happened yet. Everyone I've ever done crowd work with have always made a point of being like, hey, thanks for coming out or cheers for like yeah, playing yeah. along or just let them know that it's a thing. And every time they've always been like, nah, man, you're funny. That was good, yeah. you know. Whether they go home and cry about mm. it is another thing. But like, I don't think that it's um, faked. I think that they, yeah, like general. if you come out for a comedy show, sometimes... Like, as long as the, the crowd work is just fun, yeah. they're going to be good with it. They Actually, some people think that they got more out of it yeah, by being part were. of the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's – crowds should be – like, this is just my own personal opinion on it. Is when you come to a comedy show, you sort of enter in this, into this uh, just unspoken agreement that when – whoever's on stage, 99.9% of the time – it's just trying to be funny. Mm. It may sound racist. It may sound sexist. It may sound bigoted, but it's probably not their opinion on the matter. Mm. They're just trying to get a reaction to get a laugh. So when people get upset about that kind of stuff, that kind of doesn't irk me, mm. but I'm kind of like, you got to know he's just trying to be funny. Yeah. And if he misses the mark, well, that's okay too, yeah. because he's got to learn, okay, that one isn't how I should uh, portray that. Yeah. That's not how I should attack that joke. And then he'll learn. But if you kind of never give him the opportunity to, then how's he ever going to learn? Yeah. He's going to... It's it's like young kids. They say, right, here's a list of banned words. Right, well, we'll ban all these words. And then they never say it. When they grow up, they have no real obligation to what that does to somebody when you say it. But if they say those words, they're not good. But then they can learn why they're not good. You say, hey, you said the N-word. Let me tell you why you can't do that anymore. Rather than being 30 and being like, this N-word over here, because they have no context yeah. as to why it's happening. Yeah, And yeah. I think comedy is kind of the same. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It's like not just... Just because we're on stage doesn't mean that we like are using that as a platform to say things that are hateful or whatever. Yeah. We're just... We're just... We're literally... Like if we wanted to... Dude, if we wanted to say some fucked up shit, right? Do you think we'd do it in front of a crowd of people? Yep. Like, if we, <laughs> yeah. would we choose that as the the place to say anything like racist or fucking? Yeah. Like, 
you have to be like another level of fucking weaponized yeah. to like go up there and just be like, oh, this is what I think. I don't know anyone here. I don't know anyone's opinions, mm. but I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Just kind of verbal mouth vomit, all the hatred I've got inside. Yeah, and just like on the off chance that one person can be like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and people think like nobody's going to say anything. Like if somebody does that, if somebody gets on scra- gets on stage, points out of someone of Asian descent yeah. and just starts going at them, yeah. that nobody's going to get up and be like, hey, mate, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Like they just, <laughs> that just doesn't happen. Yeah, like I've luckily in the years of running a room never had to pull someone mm. from a stage. Um, I've had a couple of people eat their fucking balls like fucking bomb. Yeah. Um, fuck, I've done it. Yeah. But, um, I mean, as MC, it's easy to bomb because you can just fucking like call up the next act and mm. or just try and get something out of the crowd, a reaction, whether it's laughter or just cheering or clapping mm. or whatever, you always can end on a high note, yeah. whether it's like on one of your jokes high note or whether it's just like getting the audience going. But um, I've never had to pull someone off stage before. And I've been to mics where the MC was pulling people whenever they thought they said something yeah. that might offend someone That's in crazy. the crowd. That's crazy. No shit. So I go to I go to an open mic one time. And I'm not mentioning names or venues. Mm. I go to an open mic one time. And the, this was years ago. Um, I hadn't been doing comedy for long. Um, and I'll just keep dropping hints to like yeah. fucking pin- <laughs> Until people can intersect their own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people stitching it together right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Tessellating. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's probably about maybe 12 or 14 comedians. Mm. And over the course of the night, I didn't get there at the very start, but over the co- while I was there, I seen about five comedians get pulled. Wow. Uh, out of the remaining like 10 or whatever that's just mental and i i was like that's one out of every three while and, you were there well and it, it's like but it became a game mm. of the remaining ones it's a bit like um they couldn't fo- the remaining comedians couldn't focus on what they were doing because now they were like yeah and the audience Am I gonna get fucking yanked and the stage? audience were like Am I like? Oh, should we be laughing at this? Yeah. Or the audience was just spending the rest of the night watching the MC to see whether they approved of the act. Mm, yeah. And I don't honestly know whether there was the, the MC that was being offended, or whether they were just like preemptively pulling them in case someone was getting offended. Mm. I feel like it was the latter. Yeah. I don't think that the MC was like. Tr- the, actually, I listened to a podcast. Um, um, with a bunch of New York comedians, and uh, they were saying, like one of the one of the blokes on there was saying, he had a good point. He was like, people don't find they were talking. They were, this was on the same podcast where they were talking about the uh, Jimmy Carr thing. Yep. People don't find something that you can cancel someone for, and go, I'm so fucking offended, and appalled by that. Like some people may, yep. but I not everybody does this. I'm so offended. I. I can't sleep until this is off the internet and is not going to make someone else feel like I do and make them go through the same pain and emotional distress that I am. So it's my duty to stop this from hurting other people. They find it and go, fuck yeah, we got him. Yeah. Like, I need to spread got you, this. Gotcha moment. I want to clip this and put it on my fucking socials and show everybody yeah. what happens. Somebody who's just hating them already preemptively, and then they find that one thing that they think can get rid of them. Yeah. And they go, fuck yeah. Yeah. You're so, dumb, baby. So, like, in 12 years' time, thanks, you fucking found it. But you're like, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> you trudged through all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for all the listens, for well, starters. Yeah. Well, welcome to the fucking in the archived edition of the yeah. podcast that's only available on Patreon. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for the $5 a yeah. month. Thanks for the paywall, you <laughs> yeah, fucking the idiots. Paywall, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that podcast I was talking about is, they have a really good setup and like, I mean, this is, I'm not at this point yet, but eventually this may be an option that I explore. Um, they put their archived episodes behind a payroll, oh, pay, yeah. paywall Um to because people that are really into a show or like a uh, podcast whatever um 
want to listen to all the episodes. Yeah. Hamish and Andy do it too. Do they? Yeah. yeah. I think they charge like two bucks. Yeah. Two bucks for all their old episodes. Yeah. So like it's cool. I, I, I just think that it's like, it's a good, um, it's a good way to be like, well, if you're super into this podcast and you want to listen to all the episodes, then you're the sort of person that probably wants to like support it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why like, yeah, it's, it's a good idea behind the scenes. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely not bad. Yeah. I just don't like, you know, under 60 episodes. I feel like I need a lot more in the bank before that's a thing. So yeah. if I can listen to it while you can for yeah, free. Your pieces of trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> Garbage fuck, people. Fuck you. Pay me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck you bronies. One more time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but still. Come Damn. Back. I just tainted the second <laughs> half of this. I can't even split it. <laughs> <laughs> almost yeah. almost i'll make sure the brownies know what's up yeah yeah exactly. but just- it's circling back to what we were just talking about like i obviously haven't been in comedy that long like you know i started december 14th i did one show yeah and then i've only been consistent this year so we're in like the th- start of the third month basically you're fucking by the way you're solid man like Thank you. yeah like I bet. So, um if anyone's wondering just well, back, just quickly um if anyone's wondering why like um, there's so many established comedians in Canberra and like why we were just talking about how I just put you on a ticketed gig and you've only been doing comedy for a short amount of time. It's because of this. Like we have chats before yeah. and after gigs yeah. and we have good banter. I don't have people on the podcast based on their skill set. Mm. I have people on my podcast to have a conversation yeah, with. Yeah. Um, which is why I don't just have comedians on here. So yeah, that's yeah. The, like so for look, for people that are also trying to cancel me, look at the fucking progress. Yeah. To see be like, oh, once upon a time like you were opening on a gig that I did. Whereas like now I'm like, can I have a support spot? <laughs> Remember when I helped you out in twenty twenty two, dude? <laughs> well well, unluckily for both of us, we're gonna get cancelled at the same time, probably. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> so yeah. we'll both be opening for no, someone fucking else. Throw me under the bus, man. No, no. <laughs> he made me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Margie definitely made me do yeah. that. <laughs> Actually, when he's famous, this is why, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be coming for a residual check. Yeah, anyway, thank, like, I made it. Thanks for the two fifty after I give you half. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. For two fifty each, yeah. Um but yeah, you were saying though yeah to go back to like i haven't been in comedy long yeah and two venues so far i've had the mcs come up to me and be like hey just so you know like one one person specifically described my comedy as dark humor right which i really don't agree with yeah and the other person was very worried about like word just my wording of things yeah and i just found that incredibly odd yeah because i was like i'm not an offensive like you know, I don't even really cover that many offensive topics. Yeah. And I don't consider myself dark humor. Yep. So to come up preemptively before a show yeah. and be like, hey, here's- And was that the first time you'd performed on those rooms? Yes. Yeah. Both times. Yeah. And I was like, this is a weird- And straight away, it puts you in a very different mindset. Yeah. Like, instead of just like laser focused, here's my set, bang, bang, here's my jokes. Then all of a sudden, I'm in my own head like, oh man, mm. what can I say? What can't I say? Can I say this? Can I say that? And it normally doesn't. Uh, the first time when it happened to me, it went disgracefully bad. I bombed because I just threw my whole set out and just tried to wing it. Didn't work. And then on the second one, I sort of just went, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And if you ask me never to come back, it is, it what, is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. But that's just how it's got to go from now on. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's like I was saying before about the MC pulling people off stage. It was like you were saying, you get in your own head and the other acts are just... I still went up and did my set, right? Yeah. Um, my set went better than a lot of the sets that night, but it was not by any stretch a good set for me. Yeah. It was good for the night, but not good for me. And that's the only person I try to compete against. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's definitely how I work too. Yeah. I, I'm like, I've talked to other comedians and I'm like, stupidly, I'm not even going for the crowd. I want to get off my set and know in myself, be like, no, I did what i wanted to do yeah and that worked out and if they laugh cool beans yeah i hope they do and if they don't and i still think i did all right i don't feel as bad whether if i just try and change everything up and then don't get a laugh yeah i'm like well we've, nobody enjoyed that now. The, yeah 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 true it's like if i do like if i do a couple of jokes because i don't mics, i try and do new shit all yeah. the time and you're quite similar as well um Although you're new, you're still trying to do new stuff. Like, I know a few comedians that 
they'll try a couple of new jokes maybe the first three or four times and then for the next like few months they have like a five minute set made up of the good things of the first four sets yeah. and they just keep fucking doing it yeah. and doing it and it's just like you're not like if you keep lifting the same weight yeah, yeah, you'll get better at lifting that weight. Yeah, no progression, but but the, it's you you yeah, it's going to be slower. Um, but I think that I try not to. Um, I try not to. Like I said before, about I've never pulled anyone off stage. Mm. I'm pretty sure that there would be MCs that I've um, worked on their rooms. Not their rooms, but rooms that they've emceed. Because not always the room runner is the MC. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think I'm one of the only rooms in town where I'm the consistent MC. Yep. And there is some like um, advice against doing that in the scene, but I don't fucking care. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, because I like to be amongst everybody. Mm. I don't want to come up and do a fucking spot on my own room while someone MCs it. Mm. I want to MC it because um, I'm fucking narcissistic. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would be bad if you said, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you weren't narcissistic with posters. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> if you tried to deny that right now. <laughs> I got my fucking logo everywhere. <laughs> yeah. No, but like I lean into it, man. It's all about branding. It's all about shit. And if I'm honest, man, like I'm not... Um, I mean, I don't need to be honest for people to know this. I'm not a big comedian, mm. but I get recognized because of my branding and my fucking like beard <laughs> and my image. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I like to be amongst the comedians. I like to get to know the comedians. Mm. I like to watch their set when I can from the side of the stage if I'm not fucking organizing shit. Like if I, if I like need to go you know, queue up a track for the next comedian, like with a soundie or whatever. I need to like, you know, um, if it's a ticketed gig, the headliner wants a drink or some shit. I'll yeah. sort that out. Yep. And then I'm like, fuck, yeah, cool. Um, the next comedian's up in three minutes and I've done everything I needed to do. I'll watch the set. Mm. You know, like I've said to people at open mics, man, you've done the basement before but it was good to sit here and watch your set. Yeah. Um, cause I don't just do comedy. I like watching it. Right. Obviously, um, you gotta be fucking in it to enjoy it. Mm. I, I think like you get more out of watching it as well as doing it. Yeah, yeah. Like some people have time restraints. They rock up, do their set and fuck off. But I don't think they're getting the most out of the night. And I've had to be that person in the past because of whatever reason, um, like I had something on or yeah, whatever. Everyone's got something on at some point. It's better to do the set than not do it at all. But yeah. the most is to stay back and fucking like watch the others and even have a chat if you want, you mm. know. But yeah, that's why I do it, man. I like to be submersed in my room. Yep. Like, um, and I've like I was saying before, I've not pulled people off the stage before, and it was because I don't think they crossed any boundaries that. Um, were unacceptable yeah. or they didn't have like a punchline or they didn't make it obvious that it was a joke. Like, yeah, yeah. like intent, <laughs> intent matters yeah. crazily yeah. in comedy. It really does. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, but yeah, I, but I think there would be MCs that I've worked um, with before that probably would have called some of the people that I didn't. Yeah. And the difference is I let them explain their joke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that night that I was telling you about, a guy was doing a joke and he got pulled before he got to the punchline. So imagine doing only yeah. the setup. Yeah, yeah. It's and tough. being told that that's not acceptable. It's before blue balls to had, the nth degree. Before you even had a chance to yeah. explain it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if you went and watched Chappelle do his special. But before every punch, you cut yeah. the mic. They just edit it so it's all set up. It's just all set up. Yeah, then you probably could get cancelled legitimately. Legitimately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I actually knew that comedian, not from comedy, like outside of comedy. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, hey, man, I 
recognize you from this um, fucking from the golf scene. Nah, <laughs> from, um, <laughs> uh, you're the chrome yeah, room, just, room runner. How's that, oh, chick? Uh, and <laughs> he's uh, back spinning yeah, yeah. clockwise again. You know how it is, man. You know how it is with these big titty guys. <laughs> They'd be crazy. <laughs> um, so, he's got a voice like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine just walking up to a golf dude and he was just like, ah, oh, man, what's going on? Yeah, damn, these bitches be crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, <laughs> booty like, pow. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, so I went up to him like, "Hey man, like, um, it was that your first time? I recognize you from this thing. Hey, go and blah blah blah. Yeah. Like, was that your first time?" And he's just like, "Yeah, that was his first oh, fucking fuck time. Yeah, that'd be so fucking sick. Yeah, it'd be so stoked. I was you just pulled off uh, first uh, time. Yeah, I was, just, I was just like, fuck, man. There's another one in this amount of time. Come along to that. Yep, and um." Try again. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. let this dishearten you. Yeah, because that's exactly what it would do to 99% of people. Yeah. First time you do anything, anything new in life, and somebody just cut you off like that and stop, yeah. you'd be like, well, I'm not going to do this again. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. Fuck, I don't want to feel like that. Yeah, and that, and so that comedian came along to another one, and I don't know if he changed the, the, um, the, bit. the bit, but he had the same setup, only this time the MC didn't pull him, and mm. he fucking did the bit. Yeah. And I'm like, that is perfectly explains the bit. Yeah. Like, that was fine. There yeah, was yeah. nothing fucking wrong with the yeah. second half of that. You didn't give them their chance. Yeah, to yeah. Fully encapsulate I think, what they were I, saying. I think he, the comedian just needed that closure yeah. because after he did that, he never came back. Yeah. Like, he, <laughs> it's fair. Only he just like I'm like it's sad. But I literally was like, hey, look, see, you got fucking laugh at that yeah, bit, yeah. man. Don't like keep coming, man. Don't, never seen him. Never again. came back. And I think it was just like I'm gonna end on a high note. I got a laugh out of that bit that yeah. I got fucked for, and I'm done now. Yeah. Well, and, you'd always have that in the back of your mind still with other new bits. They would think of like, is this gonna get me pulled? Because mm-hmm. I don't want to get pulled again. Yeah. So why don't I just do this one bit that I've obviously built up towards? Yeah. And then I'll just fold them. I'll just fold the fold the cards. This isn't the game. I want to be in anymore yeah. which is fucking sad dude. fucking over it is yeah. like that guy could have that's my big thing with the the limiting of the language about what like we don't know who we're stopping yeah like who could be the next big comedian mm. but when they put him on stage the mc or the room runner whoever it is just says no no that type of comedy you can't do yeah that guy could be the next anybody do you think we're stopping more people from being like openly fucking like bigoted or more people that are creative yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, I, do, do you think... Oh, like, here's the point. Do you reckon someone that wants to be an asshole goes along to an open mic, says what they want to say, they don't get stopped, and they <laughs> yeah. keep going? Or do you reckon the dude that goes there, or, or whatever gender they are, goes to the fucking open mic, says something bad, they get told by the MC, oh, man, I don't know about that bit. And they go, all right, I'm going to give yeah. up on being an asshole now. Yeah, or yeah. do you think they just go somewhere <laughs> fucking else and do it? Do you yeah. think, do you re- like, the MC telling them they can't do, they shouldn't, they should reword that joke or whatever, isn't going to stop them from fucking no. doing that. Yeah. They'll just choose a asshole. different crowd. Yeah. They'll choose different people yeah. to say it to. You, you know who you're going to get. Like, a creative person who's trying to be funny mm. will just rework the joke. Yeah. And you'll see them at the next one. It'll just be slightly different. Yeah. An asshole, he's just going to go do it at the pub. Yeah. Down the street. Yeah. Like, you can't stop people. So, we just got to let people go. And then we decide. That's what I kind of don't... Like, when you're telling a joke, the crowd makes the decision. Mm. Whether you're being funny or bigot or sexist. They're the ones... That's the audience that we're attending to. Yeah. Why do the other comedians get to decide? Yeah. But that's not who we're there for. Yeah. There for that person in the crowd who's paid their five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and also, like the the person that uh, all the other comedians are doing is shaping someone to try and do what they think is funny. Yeah. So if if I'm giving you First of all, unsolicited advice. Mm. All I'm doing is telling you what I think would be funny. You shouldn't be fucking listening to me. You should yeah. be doing that on stage and seeing what the crowd, like you said, the crowd tells you. Mm. Like, all I'm doing is making you sound how I think I would do it if I was you. Yeah. And that doesn't make sense because the whole reason we all do it is because we're all unique and individual. Mm. Like, we all have, I'm not about to go up and try and do your fucking set. Yeah, yeah. Um, and vice versa 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I'm much funnier. <laughs> 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 but it's like there's a huge difference between me approaching somebody, yeah. you know, who's a long time comedian saying, hey, I've got this bit. I can't really work it out. Would you mind giving me a hand? And yeah. then going, yeah, fuck yeah, let's have a look at it. Yeah. And somebody just coming up to me and being like, that joke you did didn't work. So let me tell you how to make it work. As soon as anybody does that, my brain shuts down. Yeah. And I'm just going to go, you can say what you want. I am not going to take it on board. Yeah, yeah. So like, why are we even now doing this? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah what's the point of that? Yeah, yeah. You might be trying to be nice. I can appreciate that. But that's just not how it's going to work. The problem is a lot of the time it's not being nice. Yeah. It's not like there's a high percentage of, there's obviously a high percentage of ego in the comedy mm. scene. So sometimes people will be like, I'll give you advice on your set to make myself feel better and make you f see that I'm like, it's kind of like a, like if I give you advice in my mind, that makes me feel above you. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like, dude, fucking, like, I've occasionally been like, oh, if I see something that the other person may not have seen, like, I'm not going to be that creepy cunt that walks, hey, do you want some advice? Because that's yeah, already yeah. going to get you on the back foot. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, man, that bit could be a callback to that bit yeah, if you yeah, put yeah. them, like, together. Yeah. I'll give that kind of advice. But I won't fucking be like, don't do that joke. Yeah, yeah. Like, or... Uh, we start to get into weird territory when you're telling people what they can and can't do. As a comedian. Mind. It's strange. We're, we're in a weird zone now when yeah. you tell me what I can and can't do. Especially as someone else in that industry that would suffer from that culture. Yeah. Like, if... <laughs> Even if they had a PC joke, like, yeah. like whoever, if I said to somebody, they just got a bland, you know, knock, knock joke. I'm like, oh, we don't do knock, knock jokes here. Well, they'd be like, what the, f well, that's well, yeah. like any joke. Yeah. Like yeah. we're going to do it for any joke then. Yeah. So yeah. why are you doing it? I think what we should be looking at is laughter. Mm. And that's probably the only thing yeah. that we should focus on to initially. Yeah. The crowd decides all. Yeah. Like, the crowd decides all. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. If you went up to someone who had like the other end of the scale, like super PC shit. And you were like, Hey, um, I think that you could be a little bit more fucking dark with your humor. Mm. Imagine like saying that, like yeah. <laughs> imagine walking up to someone and be like, Hey man, I'm good to, good to see you coming out. But like, you're kind of a bit like PC. <laughs> you're a bit too nice for this room. <laughs> it just, it's weird if it's the shoes on the other foot, isn't yeah, it? Like yeah. imagine just being like, look, the crowd here prefers. Big titted goth girls. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or, or, or they are one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so get up there, swirl your wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And pull your dick out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what they love here. <laughs> a 90s set. Dude. Yeah, 90s yeah. Doug yeah, Stanhope. Yeah, yeah. Just walk up, <laughs> glass of wine and dick. Yeah. That's what they want here. Yeah. Dip your dick in the wine. They're going to love it. I promise you. <laughs> a bit kills every time. <laughs> it still didn't overflow the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Put your balls in it's if you It's a shot it. glass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no. So, um. It's a good point, man. I think that I think that um, it works both ways. But I also think that sometimes people will be so set on doing a certain joke that they don't care if it doesn't get laughter. Mm. And it's just like you should ultimately be trying to get laughter. Like, yeah. it, I can understand saying like, "Hey, that joke." needs like could probably do with some like shortening or punching mm. it up or whatever like i get that right like I, I i i would take that feedback if i didn't already fuck dude i don't even need that i know when a joke doesn't yeah. hit like at this point some new comedians may not i know some people that are so fucking nervous yeah yeah they don't even know that they've gone for eight minutes yeah yeah of course like um i did raw one year and the um there was like a one spot was still available and there was a random walk up mm. Sick. <laughs> and the fucking mc or not the mc the guy that was running it went oh there's enough room we'll just put one extra person on there no credentials no nothing yeah. just oh you want to do it no worries because i think Jump that's in. kind of what raw is for yeah yeah he goes on you know how they're really tight with raw right yeah yeah he's up there for about six minutes at this point and no one's been laughing for the at least fucking eight minutes ago. <laughs> it's uh, been on for six minutes. No one's been laughing for eight. Eight minutes, yeah. <laughs> they didn't laugh on his walkout. Yeah, Nothing. they didn't laugh for the last half of the last yeah, person. Yeah. 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 Like, um, 
So on that night, this the third last person ended up being one of the winners, and they fucking ripped it. Yep. So the last, second last person, eh, mm. last person was this fucking guy, a killer, and he fucking just gets up there, and he just had this bit that obviously one of his mates who knew him told him was funny yeah of course that's the the classic trap and i told my mates this joke and it, it fucking got a killed. good laugh and it was one bit that went for six minutes oh fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah oh, man it was the fucking <laughs> yeah and you it, are not dave and, Chappelle. and the fucking premise because fuck that like i, I don't even, yeah. i'll just tell the premise i won't actually burn the joke yeah but the premise because it's so good we wouldn't want to burn it dude the premise <laughs> Was homeless people could replace public toilets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> and six minutes of this. And it was six oh, minutes. Fuck yeah. And it got to the Bet point. Bet you that got the crowd into raptures. It got to the point where they just cued the music and cut his So mic. they should. And fuck. they fucking were flashing the line. Yeah. They literally, like next to the stage, like, yo, yeah, yeah. yo, yo, hey, yeah. wait. Like, and he's just fucking got that thousand yard stare, yeah. holding the mic, just doing the bit. Yeah. And so if you're in that mindset, I can understand being like, hey man, that didn't get a response. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah. But, but how, you, how did you think that went? That's yeah, the, how do you think that one went? Man, I thought the, I went well. The best one I've had is at the end of a comedy night where someone's come up to me and said, so do you run the comedy nights here, mate? <laughs> Like I've been on stage and yeah. seeing the whole, yeah, yeah. and my fucking face is on the poster, like <laughs> name, it just everything, everything, dude. Like, do you run the comedy nights, yeah. mate? Like, no, I don't think I do. Eh? <laughs> it was the best, dude. Turns out that guy was offended by a joke that one of the comedians did. Oh, cool! But couldn't find the comedian, so he just came to came me. To you, the closest target. And I was just like, man, and it just fucking went downhill from there. Yeah, like it got to the point. Well, the dude was like, I'm coming back next month. I'm bringing 20 mates. And if I hear any joke that I don't like, we're starting to fucking riot. Oh, cool. And I was just like, yeah, man, well, I might remember to put $5 on the door next month. Like, it's normally free entry. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Like, you can prepay now if you yeah. like. Yeah. Just give it a... I don't care. I'll, I'll earn a quid out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fuck. Give me 100 bucks. You can beat me up now. <laughs> like, I let people do it for free every Saturday. Yeah, so, yeah, like, 100 yeah. bucks sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> They're bigger than him, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, no, but well, um, unless he wants me to blow him, like it's fucking 10 bucks. <laughs> That's a tenner. Yeah. A free entry to the open <laughs> yeah, market. I earn 10 tonight. I'm keen to another. <laughs> if you want to watch me continue to perform eating yeah. balls, come onto the stage. <laughs> yeah. Come see me next month <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but that's, I've had a couple of like feedback things like that. Yeah. That was probably the most like provocative, but I've had a couple like just be like, do you remember the joke? That he was offended by? Yeah. What was the premise? The premise was... Um, it's similar to a premise for a joke I have. Yeah. That's why I was like, shit, did I say that yeah, joke yeah, tonight? Yeah. And then eventually I worked it out that it was... I remember... Who that's did? also why I like being submerged submerged in the room because I can see the sets and I'm like, oh, I know the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the premise was... Um, from a comedian that I haven't seen for a long time, actually. Um, but the premise was, um, the Catholic church is so good, aren't they? Oh, okay. Yep. And he would see where that kind of goes. Yeah, yeah. And he was, he came up to me and after he's done that initial thing, mm -mm. he's like, mate, I'm a good Christian man <laughs> of four kids. Yeah. And I'm like. And then he ended with, I'm going to start a riot. Okay. Like, yeah. can you fucking... <laughs> Is like, that an oxymoron? <laughs> do, do I even need to talk? Like, you're fucking yourself yeah, up, yeah. dude. Is I this don't a have, bit? Have yeah. you got a bit now? <laughs> like, you, do you want to come back and get on stage, dude? Yeah, yeah, because that's a good bit. That's, that's a, good, a good bit. Yeah, I literally was just like, that's actually a bit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you just started writing it down on a notepad, <laughs> like, can you say that for me one more you time? You being a Christian is funnier than my set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, you just told the best joke of the yeah, whole night. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, there's enough people here. Would you want to get up on stage <laughs> yeah. before, like, we like, we'd probably pull together a crowd of 10. <laughs> yeah. that, like, we'll all come out and watch it, yeah, all the comedians. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if you've got four kids, maybe they want to watch da Dad at Work. Still five buck entry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two for eight dollars. I'll give the kids a discount. He'll ask me to pay for babysitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> you just watch my kids. I'm such a good Christian. So many fucking places are like glorified daycare centers, though. Like, back go in, on. I'm interested in this now. <laughs> not so much now, but I remember like in the 90s when I was growing up, dude, like house parties for mm. kids, fucking McDonald's parties. Yeah, man. Was parties were the just shit. a fucking drop your kids off and come back. Like, yeah. go and fucking like do have a couple of hours to yourself. Like, I feel like kids parties were just glorified childcare centers. it was everyone's dream goal i think to have a macca's party when you're yeah. a kid it's all you wanted in how life. glorified was macca's when we were younger oh, it was just and versus it was, now it was mecca it was the mecca versus when you have macca's now it's demonized now like now we've grown up and they've realized just that macca's just destroys your body i had a so i had a premise for a joke which was like how good is it that like some kids dream party like we're saying yeah is like some fucking 36 year old dude's lowest point in his life <laughs> like when and the best part is they're both fueled by like a 15 year old yeah <laughs> <laughs> how good is it that as a 15 year old you can contribute to a point in someone's life that they're talking about when they lose 120 kilos <laughs> yeah <laughs> You can be the uprising and the downfall. And like, yeah, exactly. In like the exact you, same moment. Yeah, and you can be, and then like when you become that person, you can watch that person's fucking journey and get inspired by something you contributed <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah. yeah. It's called Darwinism, folks. Actually, that's not the premise. That's the bit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Someone just got their five bucks yeah. worth. <laughs> that one Christian guy at home right yeah, now. Yeah. He's, he's like, the only one that paid for that's it. That's acceptable, that like, bit. I'll been waiting you. since he yelled at me <laughs> to be mentioned. Did he ever come back? Yeah, but the problem was he was a regular at the venue and oh, not okay. at the comedy nights. Yeah, yeah. So... I unfortunately have to see this person whenever I go to that venue. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like he's still hanging around. But you know what? He was knowingly in the wrong. Yeah. The next, oh, like, no have you ever just had an issue with someone that you didn't know? But then there was this unspoken fucking thing where they knew they were in the wrong. So mm. the next time they just avoided eye contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's him. That's the Every man. fucking time. The myth, the legend. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the fucking, the Christian boy. Yeah, he doesn't want to just come up to you and be like, oh, listen, I fucked up. Yeah. Like, it's such an easy thing to do, to go up to someone and be like, listen, I fucked up. Sorry. I love that. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I- It's my life. I sometimes get mad when I do something good because I don't want- I can't tell them that I did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. And be, I can't be in the wrong I get moment. more satisfaction out of fucking up and admitting my wrong <laughs> than doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like that edging joke, dude. Like, imagine if yeah, I just yeah. savoured the moment of telling someone that- I was wrong and I came up like it was a bit yeah, yeah. like I'm holding them on the shoulder I'm like dude that that thing that I did yeah I get real serious with your face I just I knew I'd be strong when I told you this but <sighs> it's so hard to... I fucked it up <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing better than like especially on a night out with a group of mates or something than fucking up and then just being hey boys I just want to let everyone know that one's on me. <laughs> oh, that one is dead. Like when you get thrown out of a pub for playing up or something, your boys, that one is 100% on me. Yeah. Everybody's like, you piece of shit. You're like, oh, I know. You Give it to me. Give it to me. You got, you got, got us quicked out, kicked out of every pub in yeah. Queanbeyan. <laughs> yeah, that's boys. I, By I, which I, I mean both pubs. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. One, one across the street from the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they plan that. They're just like, one should just be called like, if you get kicked out of, and then the name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one, like I call it 20 minute time limit before you get kicked out. <laughs> This one, the afters. Oh, didn't they have like the waiting bay? So like when <laughs> people get kicked out of that one, people can come over from the yeah. pre-drinks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we used to play this game when I was in um when I was in high school. Oh, I was actually a member of the chess club. If it's not fucking obvious with the whole golf shit, but um wait wait wait, are golf big into chess? Um. If they've got big titties on them. Oh, no, hold on, hold no, on. Now so, we're talking. <laughs> now we're, I shouldn't be talking about school kids, I suppose. <laughs> That'll get me in some trouble. I didn't say the titties were on underage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the teachers. <laughs> no, so we. Um, when I was in high school, I um, 
was mates with kids, like with these um, blokes that were like a couple years older than me. Um, and they were like, they were like the rejects in their year, mm. like the fucking, like the geeks in their year. But like, to me, they were like cool guys because yeah, yeah. they were older. Yeah, they're older. They're in the years above. And they were also cool enough to hang out with someone that was two years younger than them. Yeah, that's so, how cool they so were. So fucking cool, dude. <laughs> and they used to play chess in mm. the library oh, the at lunchtime. Yeah. And I used oh, to- they fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Me. No, so- um, <laughs> No, so- <laughs> Uh, I used to just sit in the library because it was fucking air conditioned, right? Mm. And I used to just fucking sit in there and just fucking chill. Like I'd just fucking pull in, like you know those like um like car- Game Boy Colors and shit, like yeah, yeah. handheld consoles. They were kind of a thing at the time. So fucking sit in the aircon and play that. Library teacher didn't care. I wasn't reading a book. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck what, it. What did you have? Pokemon. What yeah, game? Pokemon yeah. Um, Blue. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. So um. I still got the gun. Uh, <laughs> still got my cousin's name written on the back of it. Uh, did, you, did you nick it from <laughs> yeah, him? Actually, yeah, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a grudge someone should hold for life. You yeah, their Pokemon Blue, you like probably the OG don't. shit. I tell you what's funny. If he got it back, it'd be worth like tenfold, like what it was worth then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and you're just like, nah. It's, be funny if the reason he got it back was also the reason it wasn't worth anything is because it has his name written on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went to sell it and they're like, it's worth nothing when that Sorry, guy's name. Like, no, nah, I can't buy this. It belongs to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you got any ID on you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that is my ID, yeah. dude. My ID is a Pokemon <laughs> blue cartridge with, with my name written yeah, yeah. on it. You're like, you know how old this game is. It's got my name on it. Come on, you know. <laughs> Sorry, man. We're going to need to see a first name. Pull out a Pokemon card <laughs> yeah. with Bean written on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's signed by the filth monster yeah yeah it's just mr filth yeah this is okay well it's all it's like off by mr filth <laughs> that's how i used to get into chrome dude i yeah, used yeah. to just flash that uh, no. if they're already at capacity they'd kick someone out yeah, and let yeah, me yeah. in mr so, filth mate. mr filth told me to come in yeah. okay well can you do a fucking impression of his voice <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you fucking betcha yeah. <laughs> i've been waiting for someone to ask me I've trained for the last five years <laughs> <laughs> He's got one of those fucking voice activated diaries from the 2000s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a bean. And then it opens. Today I signed a Pokemon card. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Rowan Atkinson's yeah. trying to get into it. Bane. Bane. <laughs> no, no. They make him step aside for you. They're like, step aside. Come through, sir. Come through. <laughs> Mister. It's like the mist is not required. Yeah, yeah. It's just been um like sure. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, um so We're in the library having sex with the goth chess. Kids. Yeah, so they will th- um the school was like, You boys play chess like all lunch and shit. Do you wanna like there's actually an appetite um within the region to have like a school chess team. Mm. So they fucking were like there was like three of them plus me. So I actually was in I was their worst player. So how it is it's best out of three and one's the decider. Yep. If there's a tie or what a stalemate or whatever. So rarely they go to the fourth player. Yeah, yeah. But um I just had to be better than the other team's fourth player. Yeah. I didn't have to be a good fucking player. So I play and we play like and I started getting like quite good at it. I know um yeah, I know it's fucking hard like I think chess is over you can you know how all the pieces move or you're like an expert. Yep. Like um, there's a few like in between, but it would be like a small percent. I yep. think maybe 30% of the chess players Majority are in there. Majority is casual or expert. Oh, I feel like 10%'s there, fucking like 5% and the Everybody rest. Everybody else just a pawn can only move one way. Yeah. <laughs> everything else that like um, people can do the math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was in the chess team, not the math team. <laughs> so anyway, this fucking... Um, well, I can't believe a chess nerd just talked down about math nerds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how you know there's a sliding scale of what Yeah, I used to beat them up, dude. Like, we weren't that <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you fucking math nerd. <laughs> Get them, chess boys. Yeah. They're just like, well, well, actually, chess is just an equation. Fuck yep. off, math nerd. <laughs> we were like the jocks of the nerds. <laughs> <laughs> just had little emblems <laughs> stitched into your shirts one was a king one was a knight was yeah a and when when they were so this is actually what happened so they left school which made me the new senior yep so i took off their 
fucking king jacket and put it on. <laughs> yeah, um, Letterman's. He's yeah, like Letterman's. yeah. There was like four of us. We had like a little ceremony. <laughs> One was like, oh, "Just diet coke for me. I've got diabetes." <laughs> and anyway, so um, I then became the captain of the chess team. And back to what you're saying about getting kicked out of Queen Bee, and I'm one, and you're probably wondering how the fuck I, this came back. I'm to I'm excited that. for it though. I invented a game called Dead Chess. Mm. So you'd have two chess boards, and these guys were playing, and all the lost pieces would go to that okay. side. Yep. And then once the game was over, the kings would go over onto that side, and then they'd play a game with the remaining pieces. Oh, okay. So they'd go into their respective spots, but yep. whatever was left on this board minus the kings yep. was dead. Was it's was dead. dead. Now they had to play like a zombie game. Yep. COD yeah. zombies. Yeah. But for chess. Yeah, but just like before COD zombies. Yeah, yeah. Copy, yeah. Copyright. Someone, so someone's getting sued. The pub across the road is the dead <laughs> chess the dead board. Chess board. <laughs> <laughs> we go full circle. Yeah, you made that well. <laughs> that was a long, windy road that we went on then. We had a couple of pit stops. At some point, we had to pull out a map to try and find out where we were. You go to Macca's for a birthday party? <laughs> yeah. And see one sad 36-year-old sitting in the corner. Yeah, the 36-year-old sh- golf guy spinning his <laughs> wine at a fucking party. They're just like, dude, you can't, that's unacceptable. Yeah, this here. isn't the place. Go buddy. to Chrome where you'll be fucked for doing that. There's <laughs> a bunch of big-titted golf stars. Yeah. In the kids' playground, they can't get out of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist: All the big titty golf girls used to be fucking like like fucking Macca's kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like our homecoming. Yeah, yeah. Everybody started somewhere. Yeah, this is uh, goth goth girls return of the king <laughs> <laughs> actually funny thing it's like is- that scene you know when aragorn gets off the boat and all the ghosts come after him slowly. oh yeah 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 it's like that he's out he's out the front spinning his, spinning wine, his wine and all the goth girls just slowly they're, they're the pied piper <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so i um actually went to macca's one night after a gig mm. um so i used to live um in like belcon and town center so I used to go to the basement for gigs and just walk home. Yep. But it wasn't much of a detour to go to Macca's on the way home, right? This is before the basement did food, which you one day you may enjoy. Um, <laughs> I have eaten there before. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. sick. Chompies, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. fucking sick food. Yeah, so I am. Um, fuck yeah. You get your plugs and shit. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so... um. <laughs> Profession. <laughs> That's your way of telling me to wrap it up. <laughs> 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 um, so I... Um, I we, we detour. So I got a buddy. I'm living with um, a bloke that owns the house. So he owns the house. I'm renting the room off him. And he's got a mate staying in town yep. who was with us. German dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Goes up. Oh, actually, no, he wasn't fucking German, but he'd been. <laughs> he'd been to Germany he, once. He's from. No, he's he was Finnish, mm. but he. Um, thought that our Maccas was like the German Maccas. Mm. I'll get to that in a sec. So we're at the bar and we're playing a game of pool. And this is a funny fucking intro to the... Like, this is a side quest. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're playing pool. I've just collected my NPCs. Yeah, yeah. This is the last... Like, we're going to 100% the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hit the ball and it's just sitting right on the edge of the hole. Mm. And he just goes, ah. He goes, ah, cunt. In his Finnish accent. I'm oh, like... Yeah what he's just like it can't i'm like oh, i appreciate you trying to do like aussie slang yeah yeah he said like, no in finland the edge of something is called the cunt oh my god actually right yeah he's like it's on the cunt <laughs> <laughs> you've just you've just started something oh, i was literally like what the fuck yeah. why didn't i know about <laughs> this dude so yeah, so we're we're mates, like we're chatting. I only met him that day, but like it was actually the same weekend as the multicultural festival. So he was out drinking like all day there. Yeah. And then yeah, went to a gig that night, right? So we're fucking well gone. <laughs> we go to Macca's. He's been sitting on cunts all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, dude, I'm on the cunt of passing out. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> I'll just sit on the cunt of this bed. Yeah, like, yeah. What? <laughs> Everybody's like, this guy just doesn't get it. He it's doesn't just, get Australian terms. Like, you go punch that cunt lord. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, fuck, this place, this this chrome is full of cunt lords. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look at that cunt lord over there <laughs> circling his wine. <laughs> Smell the bouquet. Um, who spelled the bouquet on that cunt? You're like, Ed. She's like, no, actual cunt. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no right. I really mean cunt that time. Yeah, I feel like we're going for the record. Like, um, two more cunts in this podcast. That's 46 cunts in this <laughs> fucked up podcast. Anyway, so... um. We go to Macca's and he's just like, um, can I grab um, this and uh, just uh, just just a beer? Hmm. And they were like, beer. And he was just like, I'm just like, oh, what's, is that like a Finnish word? For, he's like, no, beer, like, you know, like we've been drinking all day. Sound a bit Russian, that one. Anyway, he was, yeah, he was, <laughs> you know, like little beer, you know, yeah. something. You should probably get that going good anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. I'm with you, boys. Don't date the podcaster. <laughs> 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 we want them to know this is pre-invasion. <laughs> Dude, we'll be looking at this episode like we look at pre-COVID times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I just said another thing that dated it. Um, so, anyway... Um, and the chick was like, nah, we don't have beer. And he was like, you don't have beer. And he like looks around. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Everyone's there that's just been like drinking all through Belconnen. Mm. And it's like, there's just a whole bunch of drunk uni kids all passing out and yeah. stuff. Um, and he's like, this can't. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was just like, why do people eat here? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the, such a European thing yeah, to do. Like, why the fuck like, else would you be in Mac? Yeah, he's literally just like, with no beer, there's no reason. Yeah, yeah. Like, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> None for me, thank you. And just fucking went. <laughs> Nothing. Like, that was it. Like, yeah. He respect. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we just left it. Uh, I fucking ate me fucking. Burger like a fat fuck and <laughs> called it a day. Yeah, called he doesn't want night. nothing, but I'm still tipping it. I'll have his order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever he orders. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Can you order something for me? Yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> no beer. That's hilarious. Yeah. And then just to drop it like that. Dude, how shit would beer be from Macca's though? Yeah. It'd be- like. Imagine post mixed beer, dude. Like, yeah. it, like beer flavored uh, soda. Great Northern Ultra. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that fucking like oily aftertaste. Yeah. <laughs> just all taste like chips. <laughs> yeah, just all. T- <laughs> yeah, can I get a fucking hash brown beer, please? <laughs> Sorry, that's only part of our breakfast menu. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought it was all day breakfast. Can I get the all day hash brown beer? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, I fucking despise McDonald's breakfast menu. Mm. I just think it's like, I, I don't mind Maccas. Yeah. I sort of get a little bit weird when people are like, I hate, you know, then people are like, I hate fast food. I hate McDonald's. Fuck that. It's given me way too much joy in my life yeah, yeah. to just turn my back on it. Like yeah. That. And I think their food tastes pretty good sometimes. Yeah. It's like Internet Explorer. I still think about the times I first looked at porn <laughs> yeah. on it, dude. And I like respect it for that. <laughs> it's like, I think some people just hate it to hate it now. Yeah. Like, or, like they're just like, no, nah, fuck Maccas. And it tastes like shit. And I'm like, fuck you. Like, give me that shit. Yeah. Except their breakfast menu. Yeah. I cannot fuck with that I breakfast think the, menu. I think the breakfast menu is only only glorified by the fact you could only get it a certain time of the day yeah, yeah. but because they made it all day it was like you've lost your power you have no power <laughs> yeah, here anymore yeah. sort of like make another lord of the rings reference <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from my face being a lord of the rings reference <laughs> hey it's my favorite movie series of all time oh really yeah i love lord of the rings yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. i've actually just been like re-watching all of them the, do- oh, yeah. the ex- like, hobbits as well or uh, you the, getting- ho- the hobbits i don't mind yeah. but they're not but i do watch them they're the yeah they're like I don't even know how to describe. They're the breakfast menu of Lord, Lord of the Rings. Is the McDonald's, Hobbits is the like breakfast. So you menu. only watch it between four o'clock and yeah, and yeah. 10 30. <laughs> yeah, there's a limited time. Yeah, and I'm fucking. I'm not really enjoying it. I'm I'm consuming it, but I'm kind of like fuck. I wish I didn't have to. If you could, if you could have waited an extra hour, you yeah. would just have the. Yeah, I'd be watching the the best. Yeah, movie series of all fucking time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that shit. I'll rewatch so Lord of I'll the Rings just, a million times. I'll just watch like an hour of the Hobbits to see me through until I can watch. <laughs> yeah. <in> the- <laughs> <laughs> it's like being addicted to heroin and yeah. just finding a small crack rock. Yeah. And you're like, fuck it, this will get me through. Dude, this will get me through. I legitimately heard that like in a lot of these small country towns um, where everyone like smokes weed. Yeah. Um, some of the... Di- so there's a massive ice um, epidemic. Yeah, you know Wellington? Um, it's a little- like beef. <laughs> no, it's a little town out near Dubbo. Yeah, yeah, I know. It yeah. is the ice capital of Australia yeah. in Wellington. Yeah, it's... 
Um, and you know, because of the temperature, it's not like the traditional. Yeah, yeah. Ice. <laughs> it's yeah. not black ice. Yeah, we're, not, yeah. we're not slipping on this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're tripping on this shit. We're not slipping on this yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm slipping, not tripping on my <laughs> ice. Yeah, so um, that's like one of those like drugs, not hugs, or what? Hugs, not yeah. drugs. Like I'm slipping, not tripping yeah. on ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy Harold, take that one. Yeah, take yeah. it and run with it. Now, what do we do with ice? We slip, yeah, don't trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking puppet. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I think Healthy Harold died, didn't he? I think they, I think they fucked Healthy Harold off. I think so too. Yeah, I have yeah. a feeling. My buddy that. actually had a viral video. Yeah. Um. That how funny is it when you got like you just see on if you ever been on TikTok or whatever you just see someone that's got like a few videos that have like a hundred views and one that's got like four million. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. He had one of those. Yeah. And it was him driving past the Healthy Harold van. Mm. Um. And he's just yelling out the window like. Ah! Yo, the reason I don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, it, it hit a point where he was like, why are people, because he was like, why are people tagging people that I don't know in my video? And then yeah. he seen the views was fucking just like exploding. exploding. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, um, yeah, so he, yeah, that was cool. But um, the, ah, oh, the, <laughs> <laughs> bing. Yeah. So the reason that, um, one of the reasons that they've equated the like small country towns in central west New South Wales having like big ice problems is because apparently there was like a, a weed shortage mm. and some of the dealers were just given ice. Yeah, it's just take anything. And they were just point. like, well, fucking, all right, I'll sell this. Yeah. And all the people that had been smoking weed their whole life, like that are in their 50s and 60s, just went, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. And just ended up... I'll take anything. Just being like... To be honest, man... The towns have never looked cleaner. Like... It's, it's true. Just it's, fucking, what, it's what everyone the does when they're gacked out of their mind. Just begins cleaning. Hoarder houses turned into fucking like Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought... Uh, all you can correlate between Australia's tidiest towns... Yeah. And the ice epidemics awesome. on the rise. Wellington... <laughs> yeah, is now Australia's tidiest <laughs> town it's year after year. <laughs> Fucking Don Burke presents cleaning up Central West New South Wales. <laughs> well, I think Don Burke's cancelled that. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sure he. Oh, not yeah. Don Burke. I was talking about Jamie Jury. Oh, Burke's fair. backyard yeah. and Jamie Jury's yeah, thing. Got Donnie Burke, up. he got done. He did. Yeah. Um, and and to be fair, He's man, a bit of a sus cut in the end. Yeah, to be fair, like when you hear someone's cancelled, mm. you kind now of now we've just brought this all the way back. Around yeah, this is how canceled. I'm wrapping we're up. Did, yeah, we did well. Um, so. When you hear someone's cancelled, you kind of don't just like I don't just go, all right, he's cancelled. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Um, I always like, well, what happened? Right. Mm. That's what everyone should do. Yeah. Innocent until proven guilty is a common yeah. saying that people just don't seem to follow. For some they reason. say it, but don't follow it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they say it when it's them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, like Donnie Burke's just like, <laughs> no fucking yeah. innocent till <laughs> now. I'm going to show you how to plant a magnolia. <laughs> yeah, he just tries to get on with it. Yeah, like yeah. he's just like when a toddler hurts himself. This is a Jim Jeffries bit. If you're like, if you're like, hey buddy, how you going? I even do it in Jim's voice. Like yeah, I can't. Yeah, you you can tell if I'm ripping off. That's why I always quote who said the bit because this is like. Why did he change his voice to be yeah. like Jim Jeffries when he said the only funny thing he said all podcast? <laughs> no, so his bit is like, it's not really, a, like he's got a, in, it's one of those things where the setup is required for the punch yeah. to be funny. You so wouldn't, You wouldn't want to pull him off stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so the punch isn't funny by itself in the same way that I can tell you a premise that without burning the bit, yeah. right? Yeah. But this is on Netflix, so I don't think I'm really fucking him financially. <laughs> um, but like Netflix is, um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But the the thing is, like, if like when a toddler hurts himself, if you convince them that they're not hurt early enough, they don't realize they they're hurt. Too. If you're like, "Hey, buddy, how you going? Oh, look, yeah, don't don't worry about falling over. You didn't hurt yourself. Like, let's go and look at something else." They'll like go to cry. Like, oh, oh, okay then. I think sometimes toddlers will cry because they think they're hurt like yeah. if you're if they see you're distressed they're like i should be upset about yeah, this yeah. um so yeah um that's what don burke does like he just like ah <laughs> oh, yeah no cancel don't worry about that anyway yeah. back 
fuck on Burke's backyard. Like, how to fucking prune your fucking roses. <laughs> we'll be planting early Nancys this year. <laughs> Just like I did uh, with Nancy. Yeah, uh, Don, you've got court tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> don't stress about that right now. Yeah. No, <laughs> Any hedges? Dude, maybe? you are literally going to court for planting one in Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, that's what I meant. We'll be planting Nancy's. And trust me, Nancy is early. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, Donnie boy. Yeah, she was late after yeah. that. Yeah, so. Um... <laughs> no, poor up, Nancy. Let's turn early Nancy into late Nancy. <laughs> Porno music in shoes. Yeah, yeah. 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 He grows a thick mustache. Oh, all of a sudden. No, he just, because he has like the beard, right? Imagine yeah. he just. It just, he just like turned away, turned back like a TikTok video, yeah. and he just had just the mustache. <laughs> It'd be tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. So the thing is, um, I like to hear stuff about why, right? And I heard a few of the cases against Don Burke, and yeah. I was like, he sounds like a fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like, and and I I read like forty six fucking um reports against Harvey Weinstein, dude, mm. and. There is some fucking things in there that are just so consistent. Like he had like a like a game that he would like he he had like a continual thing he would yeah, do. It's a plan of attack in like, his mind. Yeah, like it's like to the if you've got a bit and you do it on stage and it doesn't work, you do it again until it works, right? Yeah. So the fact that everyone was the same, how many times did he try and perfect his yeah, thing? Yeah. Like, what are the ones we didn't hear where he, yeah. like, fucked it up and, like, didn't, like, yeah. do the thing? Probably thousands. Prob literal, literal thousands. Literal thousands, yeah, dude. Of like, women are coming in. And, and the thing is, like, he was so fucking... Like, he was so fucking um, desensitized to it that it was just... Some of the girls like described it as like one of the most horrific fucking events yeah, yeah. they've ever been through and he was just literally like all right so you like you want to come back and hang out again yeah, on saturday it's tuesday like for him it's that is a fucking um street fighter reference for did you know tuesday. that no okay so maybe it isn't maybe street fighter <laughs> reference an old saying but so in street did you know street fighter yeah. right in street fighter 2 Chon Lee finally gets through to fight in the this is in the Van Damme edition of yep. the movie right like the movie edition with Van Damme or in the movies not the games yeah not in the games or in there's a couple of anime yep um like there's an animated movie was there a second Street Fighter movie sorry um no I was thinking about the the Street Fighter two because oh, okay. the 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 movie most is most represented by Street Fighter two yep. like the characters from two are like the oh. characters in the movie. Okay, so yeah. in my mind, I always see the movie as like a movie version of Street yeah, Fighter 2. You equate it to the other one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was there was a couple of movies, but they were all like, they weren't like a part of the same series. Mm. Were, like, Sorry, not a couple of movies. There was a couple of animes, a couple, like there was one movie. Like, yep. anyway, in the movie version, um, the chick that plays Chon Lee finally gets through to the point where she's verse like about to have the fucking fight with Vison, mm. you know? And she's like, You came into my like village and you tried to like take us over. But my father and his like farmer friends fought you off with pitchforks. And like she's got this triumphant story about how yeah. her father died to like save the village and shit. And Vison's like the time that your dad defended your village and saved everyone's life was the biggest moment of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just the shrinking of the, <laughs> of the bravado, I'm sure you fuck. I feel like... No, because I think Vison was played by the same dude that was Gomez in Adam's Family. Yeah, it was. And that was his last movie because he did it as a tribute to his kids because they liked Street Fighter. Oh, okay. So he was like, I'll be in that movie for you. Yeah, because he was dying. He, he was dying yeah, in that dying. movie, which that. really worked with the Vison look. Mm. Like he, he yeah, was, well, he's got the sunken in cheeks. Yeah, like, yeah. I can sort of remember him from the, he had the, the, he's like a military cap. And yeah, things, yeah. I remember that. But, but like, it's sad, but it, like, you're like, that it's, called, it's called method acting. Yeah, like Daniel yeah, Day-Lewis yeah. does it. He gets an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Gomez Adams does it. And what, he's got to die? That's shit. Heath Ledger too soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, but anyway, uh, let's let's wrap it up, man. What's yeah, your okay. what's your uh, what's your what's your plugs, man? I know you do a podcast as well. Yeah, yeah. Can if anybody wants you? to hear me talk for a little bit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah. like, I was going to try and get that call back in. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can hit me up just at yarn and a half. Yep, just y a i n and a half. Yep, and you got Instagram as yeah, well. Yeah, just Cameron Ribbons. Just yep. my name on on all social medias, which is actually only Instagram. Yeah, one social media. Yeah. Me <laughs> but by the time I'm getting cancelled, you <laughs> yeah. may be. Yeah, I could be, have a website. <laughs> yeah, I may have a website. I may have 200 Facebook followers by then. Who knows? I could be <laughs> something to be cancelled for. <laughs> yeah, finally, my Twitter, my Twitter follower is going to go up by at least six after this. <laughs> Cancel me. Then. Well, I think early on in your career, like sometimes being cancelled can be like exposure more than what you yeah, could for having any a publicity. Good bit. Is good publicity. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. um, Dick Smith jumping a fucking bunch of motorbikes in a bus early in his career was because of that. Yeah. Did you know he did that? No, never so, heard of that. So Dick Smith, that's just something he used to say. Any publicity is good publicity. Mm. Early in his career, he was the first guy ever to jump motorbikes in a bus. Fuck yeah. Because he was like, why hasn't anyone ever tried it the other way around? <laughs> 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 fuck yeah dick that just made me respect that man yeah. so much more yeah, yeah. before I just used to go to him for high priced electronics but now I'm like fuck yeah yeah <laughs> he, man he's our like, evil Knievel fuck yeah dude he's like yeah he's yeah, he's uh, he's fucking up there man um, but yeah anyway thanks for um, thanks for being on the podcast nah, thanks man. for having me this is fucking sick yeah um, we've got yeah just ch- check out um, anything Cameron does or put on Facebook or whatever on fucking Instagram for yeah, now sure. maybe fa- maybe Who I just knows? alluded to the future yeah, yeah. Um, if you're listening to this podcast you already know where to find me Marky Worthington Comedy on Facebook Instagram and YouTube um, and you can also see me on Twitter at Marky Comedy um, and I also do Twitch streaming over at Marky Worthington Gaming on Twitch oh, fuck yeah. Um, so yeah check all that out um, I post dates coming up I know that we've got so we've got um, the basement open mics on the third Tuesday of every month and we got a ticketed gig at the basement on the first Tuesday of every month so Check out my socials for all of that, and uh, cheers for tuning in. Fuck yeah. Cheers. Don't buy me a drink. Just name names. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Big Tony. You'll get fucking thrown out of the strip club with your floppy disk. Yeah, all day. Make people feel shame for shit all day. <laughs> Don't blow Turn it. into a hard drive. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to Keep it simple. Count your money. That they're not proud of. Just give me ten bucks. Yeah, right.